Hi, Jane. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, tonight we're going, I'm going, uh, we are done with the regular test, right? Yesterday. Okay, I will send the result tomorrow. Okay, I will send the result in Zalo tomorrow. For now, teacher will continue on 5.3 listening test. I will check. We are in 5.3 listening test. I know, sorry. It's 5.3, yeah, 5.4 listening test, sorry. We are now in 5.4. We are done with 5.3 listening test. Five point four listening. Okay. Okay, Min. So today we have here preliminary English test, listening test. Okay, so we have here, mean we have seven questions. Okay, remember, we have seven questions in this part. For each question, mean there are three pictures, three pictures, and a short recording. Okay, let us have this, like what no, we okay. had before. Okay, you have to listen, we have here, new words. Okay, we have the paintbrush, the scissors, and due to the arrange. Okay, so we have here the words. Please answer this carefully. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Which of Miranda's things will Lucy be able to use? Lucy's joining the tennis club, so that'll be more equipment I have to buy. Oh, well, don't waste too much money. We bought Miranda everything, but then she only went once because she didn't like the teacher. <laughs> Actually, I think we've still got some of it somewhere. There's a box of balls in the cupboard, certainly. But she gave her cousin the racket, and she wears the shoes for other things. But I could look in the cupboard and give you what's there. Oh, thanks. That'd be great. That would be really helpful. Now listen again. Lucy's joining the tennis club, so that'll be more equipment I have to buy. Oh, well, don't waste too much money. We bought Miranda everything, but then she only went once because she didn't like the teacher. <laughs> Actually, I think we've still got some of it somewhere. There's a box of balls in the cupboard, certainly. But she gave her cousin the racket, and she wears the shoes for other things. But I... Could look in the cupboard and give you what's there. Oh, thanks. That'd be great. That would be really helpful. Two. What can't the woman find? I'm going to mend and paint the shelves in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new paintbrush? This one's too old. But before you do that, ask your father what he's done with the hammer. I've looked everywhere for it. There was nothing in the toolbox except this pair of scissors, which I lost months ago. Now listen again. I'm going to mend and paint the shelves in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new paintbrush? This one's too old. But before you do that, ask your father what he's done with the hammer. I've looked everywhere for it. There was nothing in the toolbox except this pair of scissors, which I lost months ago. Three. Which ring has the woman lost? I wonder if you can help me... I ate here in this restaurant last night, and I think I left my ring in the bathroom when I washed my hands. Have you seen it? It's got a square bluey-green stone 
with lots of smaller stones round it. It's quite valuable, but that's not the point. It was my grandmother's, and I'd hate to lose it. Now listen again. I wonder if you can help me. I ate here in this restaurant last night, and I think I left my ring in the bathroom when I washed my hands. Have you seen it? It's got a square bluey green stone with lots of smaller stones round it. It's quite valuable, but that's not the point. It was my grandmother's, and I'd hate to lose it. Four. What time did the girl arrive? Sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? Well, not really. About five or ten minutes, perhaps. Oh. I left home at five past six and got here at exactly quarter to seven. Well, if we hurry, we'll still make it for the beginning of the film at seven. Now listen again. Sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? Well, not really. About five or ten minutes, perhaps. Oh. I left home at five past six and got here at exactly quarter to seven. Well, if we hurry, we'll still make it for the beginning of the film at seven. Five. What will be on television at ten o'clock this evening? Here is an announcement about a change to our advertised programmes this evening. The football match between Spain and Hungary is now going to finish later than expected. When the match ends at 10.30, our programmes will continue as planned with a visit to an open-air rock concert. But the Blue World programme about life under the sea, which was due to begin at 10 o'clock this evening, will now be shown next week instead. Now listen again. Here is an announcement about a change to our advertised programmes this evening. The football match between Spain and Hungary is now going to finish later than expected. When the match ends at 10.30, our programmes will continue as planned with a visit to an open-air rock concert. But the Blue World programme about life under the sea, which was due to begin at 10 o'clock this evening, will now be shown next week instead. Six. Where will the party be? What time are we leaving for Maria's party tonight? Not too early. It'll only take ten minutes to get to the nightclub. Oh, I thought we were all meeting at the outdoor concert. There's been a change of plan. The two of us are meeting Maria at the club. We've told her the party's there, but the other guests will go to her flat and prepare everything while we keep Maria busy. We'll take her back there after about an hour. <laughs> she will be surprised. Now listen again. What time are we leaving for Maria's party tonight? Not too early. It'll only take ten minutes to get to the nightclub. Oh. I thought we were all meeting at the outdoor concert. There's been a change of plan. The two of us are meeting Maria at the club. We've told her the party's there, but the other guests will go to her flat and prepare everything while we keep Maria busy. We'll take her back there after about an hour. <laughs> she will be surprised. Seven. What did the man buy? Oh, good, you're home. Did you get all the shopping? How about the orange juice? Well, actually, at first I thought the shop didn't have any orange juice. I was thinking we'd have to manage without. Then I realised they'd moved it to a different shelf. I hope this is enough. Don't worry, that's plenty. Did you find the grapes? Yes, there were lots of grapes. Only they looked a bit sour, so I got strawberries instead. They were a bit expensive, though. Now listen again. Oh, good, you're home. Did you get all the shopping? How about the orange juice? 
Well, actually, at first I thought the shop didn't have any orange juice. I was thinking we'd have to manage without. Then I realised they'd moved it to a different shelf. I hope this is enough. Don't worry, that's plenty. Did you find the grapes? Yes, there were lots of grapes. Only they looked a bit sour, so I got strawberries instead. They were a bit expensive, though. That is the end of part one. Okay, Min, do you have the answer? Yes. Okay. What's the answer for number one? Which which of Miranda's thing will Lucy be able to use? Uh, B. B. Very good. What can the woman find? Uh, C. Letter C. Okay. Which ring has the woman lost? B. Okay. Next. What time did the girl arrive? B. Very good. Okay. What will on television at 10 o'clock this evening? A. Where will the party be? C. And what did the man buy? C. Okay, great job, Min. Okay, next one here. For this, you will hear a man named called Paul Hart talking about his trip to Africa with a team scientist. You have to answer A, B, C. Now turn to part two, questions eight to 13. You will hear a man called Paul Hart talking about his trip to Africa with a team of scientists. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. With us today to tell us about his trip across Africa is the biologist Paul Hart. We started on the East Coast and travelled on foot across Africa to Gabon, collecting plants and flowers along the way. It wasn't easy, but my route crossed a region rich in plants, and I chose it because it won't stay that way for long when more roads are built. It was my only chance to get important information about the natural life of the area. I had a team of 11 scientists. We walked from 6 in the morning, but the forest was so thick it took hours to cut our way through it, and some days we only walked one kilometre before dark. Fortunately, we carried special equipment that was very light, and we took as little food as possible, but we were always tired when we put the tents up at night. Sometimes we saw elephants or lions. They were amazing to watch, and never attacked us. Every day I collected plants and added to my notes. There was so much new information to write down. There were, of course, some low points, especially when I got anxious about the team. It was my job to make sure everyone got home safely. Towards the end of the trip, I suddenly discovered one day that the food had nearly all gone. It was strange, because we'd brought enough dried food with us to last the trip, food that wouldn't ever go bad, and we'd stopped at villages for fresh food, too. But then I found that some of the team had eaten much more than they were supposed to. I was angry with them, because it was a silly thing to do. Then we started walking again. There were no maps for the area, but we had a local guide. Then one of the team got sick, and we couldn't go any further. 
We let him rest, but he got much worse. Thankfully, his life was saved by a fisherman who came along the river in a boat and took him to a doctor in the nearest village. Finally, I returned home, and I'm back with my family and friends. I really missed them while I was away. But I learned so much on the trip, and I'm really glad I went. I was asked to go on another trip, this time to Australia, but I said that I couldn't because I'm busy here in London. And I think I've done enough travelling. Now listen again. With us today to tell us about his trip across Africa is the biologist Paul Hart. We started on the east coast and travelled on foot across Africa to Gabon in the west, collecting plants and flowers along the way. It wasn't easy, but my route crossed a region rich in plants, and I chose it because it won't stay that way for long when more roads are built. It was my only chance to get important information about the natural life of the area. I had a team of eleven scientists. We walked from six in the morning, but the forest was so thick it took hours to cut our way through it, and some days we only walked one kilometre before dark. Fortunately, we carried special equipment that was very light, and we took as little food as possible, but we were always tired when we put the tents up at night. Sometimes we saw elephants or lions. They were amazing to watch, and never attacked us. Every day I collected plants and added to my notes. There was so much new information to write down. There were, of course, some low points, especially when I got anxious about the team. It was my job to make sure everyone got home safely. Towards the end of the trip, I suddenly discovered one day that the food had nearly all gone. It was strange, because we'd brought enough dried food with us to last the trip, food that wouldn't ever go bad. And we'd stopped at villages for fresh food, too. But then I found that some of the team had eaten much more than they were supposed to. I was angry with them, because it was a silly thing to do. Then we started walking again. There were no maps for the area, but we had a local guide. Then one of the team got sick, and we couldn't go any further. We let him rest, but he got much worse. Thankfully, his life was saved by a fisherman who came along the river in a boat and took him to a doctor in the nearest village. Finally, I returned home, and I'm back with my family and friends. I really missed them while I was away, but I learned so much on the trip, and I'm really glad I went. I was asked to go on another trip, this time to Australia, but I said that I couldn't because I'm busy here in London, and I think I've done enough travelling. That is the end of part two. Okay, Min, did you got... Did you have the answer, Min? Did you got it? Yes. Okay, for a while, what happened to my video? Okay, so here. So for number eight, why did Paul choose the part of Africa he visited? B. Why do you think so? B, because it will soon change. The answer is letter B. Very good, because it will soon change. That's probably the reason why Paul chose the part of Africa. Okay. Do you know where Africa is, Min? Yes. Okay. Is it? Okay. As you can see in Africa, mostly the people living there, they're black, right? They're African people. Okay. So what made, what made the team's journey slow? Uh, I... It's letter A. It's clearing the path through the forest. Of course, when you clear the path through the forest, as you can see, forest is a very, it's a very secluded area. So it's quite, uh, it's quite far and it's quite uh, bushy, the forest. So therefore, when you clear it out, of course, it will take long. What did Paul worry about during the trip? C. Letter C, teacher. Being responsible for a team of people. Yeah. Paul says that the team didn't have enough food because why? Why do you think so? I... Because A, teacher, some people ate more than they should. 
Okay. People ate more than they should. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Twelve is B. Why the why were the team grateful to a fisherman? They met because he helped one of them who was ill. Okay. Number thirteen, the last number. How does Paul feel now? He is back home. C. Okay, letter C. He thinks the trip was a valuable experience. So, if I will ask you, mean, why do you think that Paul think that the trip was a valuable experience? Why? If I will ask you, if teacher Anne will ask you, why? Because? Why do you think so, mean? Why? If I will, if teacher will ask you, why do you think the trip is valuable? Because, in your own opinion, why do you think it's valuable? Mean, why do you think so, mean? Because the experience that Paul, okay, in your own opinion, I will I will give my my our own opinion. Okay, how about you? You first. You give your opinion about this. Why? Because Because Paul think that the trip give him a lesson. As you can see, the people in the Africa, the one they've been going in a team, in a journey, they are not all rich. They are poor. So as what maybe Paul learned that he learned the value of the money. Maybe he learned that he has to give something to others. Maybe Paul is rich. We don't know about that. Okay. Next one here, mean. Now in 14 to 19, you will hear a woman talking about flights in a hot air balloon. Okay. You know what is hot air balloon, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Have you ride it, mean? Have you no. tried to ride? Oh, do you, th do you have the courage to ride in a hot air balloon? Do you like to ride like this? What do you think? You like it or no? No. Oh, no. Of course, teacher and also. No, I am so scared of this. Okay. Here mean you will hear a woman talking about the flights. Okay. Let us have here some information. What are the informations about this so-called hot air balloon flights? Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. You will hear a woman talking about flights in a hot air balloon. For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. looking for an extra special present for yourself you will hear the recording twice if you're looking for an extra special present for yourself or a friend why not book a flight in a hot air balloon these exciting trips give you the chance to enjoy a really unusual view of the countryside Children under 12 must be accompanied by an adult. There's no upper age limit and everyone is welcome. However, it is essential that all passengers are fit. This is because you will have to climb in and out of the basket under the balloon. For a successful flight, we need light winds. It's also important that there's no rain and that we have a clear sky. If there is too much cloud, we'll cancel the flight and rearrange it for another date. The temperature in the air is similar to that on the ground. 
so you should wear casual outdoor clothes. Also, you must remember to wear boots. That's because you may have to walk in fields that are wet and dirty at the end of the trip. The direction the flight takes depends on the wind. The pilot will choose a suitable landing place which may be between 5 and 30 kilometres from the airfield we start from. But don't worry because transport is provided. A minibus will collect you. You won't have to walk all the way back to the airfield. All our flights take place in the evening and departure times depend on when the sun sets. The season starts in March and in May, for example, the flights would be at 6pm. The last flights are in October and after that we close for the winter. If you'd like to book a flight or to receive more information about hot air balloons, just call 01252 or visit our website www.hotairballoons.com It'll be a trip you'll never forget. Now listen again. If you're looking for an extra special present for yourself or a friend, why not book a flight in a hot air balloon? These exciting trips give you the chance to enjoy a really unusual view of the countryside. Children under 12 must be accompanied by an adult. There's no upper age limit and everyone is welcome. However, it is essential that all passengers are fit. This is because you will have to climb in and out of the basket under the balloon. For a successful flight, we need light winds. It's also important that there's no rain and that we have a clear sky. If there is too much cloud, we'll cancel the flight and rearrange it for another date. The temperature in the air is similar to that on the ground, so you should wear casual outdoor clothes. Also, you must remember to wear boots. That's because you may have to walk in fields that are wet and dirty at the end of the trip. The direction the flight takes depends on the wind. The pilot will choose a suitable landing place which may be between 5 and 30 kilometres from the airfield we start from. But don't worry because transport is provided. A minibus will collect you. You won't have to walk all the way back to the airfield. All our flights take place in the evening and departure times depend on when the sun sets. The season starts in March and in May, for example, the flights would be at 6pm. The last flights are in October and after that we close for the winter. If you'd like to book a flight or to receive more information about hot air balloons, just call 01252 88492 or visit our website www.hotairballoons.com It'll be a trip you'll never forget. That is the end of part three. Okay, Min. So we have here, Min. Children under 12 must be with an adult. This is for the hot air balloon flights. Okay. So first, all the passengers needs to be what? Fit. Need to be fit. Yeah, of course. They need to be fit. Balloon flights are best when there are what? Rain. There are? Rain, yes, I don't know why. Okay, maybe it sounds very, uh, what's that? It sounds very exciting if there is rain. Next here, passengers need to wear outdoor clothes and what? Boots. Boots. Fight trouble between the flights travel between five and five and 30 kilometers. Passengers return to the airfield in a blank. Uh, 
mini bus. Okay, by mini bus, the small bus. Flights also are available from the month of what? March. March, the teacher and birthday. Okay. For booking and information, you can phone. Uh, zero one two five two eight eight four nine two. Very good. Okay. So here, next is can you list some of the holidays in Vietnam? Okay, these are the holidays in Vietnam. This is what it told here. Lunar New Year, Labor Day. I guess Lunar New Year, this is the uh, tech holiday. I'm not sure. You have Independence Day. You have Summer Break. And then Christmas. Do you celebrate Christmas? Is there no. Christmas in Vietnam? No? No Christmas? No. Ah, okay. It's only in the Philippines. Philippines celebrated Christmas. So we have two weeks no classes. If Christmas vacation, we don't. We have two classes. I guess that's that. The same with you in that holiday. Okay. For questions twenty and twenty-five, look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between the girl Ella about the school days. You say yes or no. A for yes. B for no. Now turn to part four, questions 20 to 25. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a girl called Ella and her father about the school holidays. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. So, Ella, the holiday is at last. What are you going to do for the next three weeks? Oh, nothing. Just relax. I've been so busy at school recently, what with my exams and everything. I just want to relax for a while. Well, yes, you have done a lot of study, but surely you want to do something in the holidays? I don't know, have some friends round perhaps, or maybe we could all go camping for a few nights. Hmm. I always have friends round in term time. I just like to have some time to myself. Oh, I see. Anyway, to be honest, I need a break from my friends. All they ever do is talk about pop stars and makeup. None of them seem to be interested in my kind of things. Okay then. How about you, your brother Alex, and me going off to the beach for a couple of days? You know Alex loves camping, and I could easily take some time off work. Oh, Dad, it's spring. The sea will be freezing, and there'll probably be a gale blowing like last time when we had to come home early because our tent got flooded. No way. I just want to relax in my warm, cosy bedroom, thanks. Yes, but you need to get out and get some fresh air. <sighs> I know. I thought you were going to help Mr. Atkins with that new horse he's bought. What happened to that idea? Well, I'd love to do that this holiday. But when I asked him about it, he said that he thought I was perhaps too young to look after a horse on my own. Maybe next year, he said. Well, I give up. Don't get to the end of the holiday and complain that you've been bored with just sitting around all the time. Nothing I suggest seems any good. Now listen again. So, Ella, the holiday is at last. What are you going to do for the next three weeks? Oh, nothing. Just relax. I've been so busy at school recently, what with my exams and everything. I just want to relax for a while. Well, yes, you have done a lot of studying, but surely you want to do something in the holidays? I don't know, 
have some friends round, perhaps, or maybe we could all go camping for a few nights.、Hmm. I always have friends round in term time. I just like to have some time to myself. Oh, I see. Anyway, to be honest, I need a break from my friends. All they ever do is talk about pop stars and makeup. None of them seem to be interested in my kind of things. Okay then. How about you, your brother Alex, and me going off to the beach for a couple of days? You know Alex loves camping, and I could easily take some time off work.、Oh, Dad, it's spring. The sea will be freezing, and there'll probably be a gale blowing like last time when we had to come home early because our tent got flooded. No way. I just want to relax in my warm, cosy bedroom. Thanks. Yes, but you need to get out and get some fresh air. <sighs> I know. I thought you were going to help Mr. Atkins with that new horse he's bought. What happened to that idea? Well, I'd love to do that this holiday, but when I asked him about it, he said that he thought I was perhaps too young to look after a horse on my own. Maybe next year, he said. Well, I give up. Don't get to the end of the holiday and complain that you've been bored with just sitting around all the time. Nothing I suggest seems any good. That is the end of part four. Okay, Min, we have here some of the words. You have to tell me if it's. True、you now have six minutes to check and copy your answers onto the answer sheet. True or false? So you can say A yes, B no. Number twenty. Ella and her father both think she has worked hard. Yes or、uh, no? Ah、uh, yeah, I. Yes. It's letter A. Okay, in letter twenty one, Ella is happy to be alone during the holidays. True or false? false. A again. Number twenty two, Ella has a lot in common with her friends. B. B. The family's last camping trip was unsuccessful, so it means it's not successful. True or false? Hey. Hey. Someone has asked Ella to look after a horse in the holiday. B. B. And Ella's father is keen for her to spend the holidays relaxing. Letter B. B. Yeah. So we have here some words. Oh, sorry, Min. We have here some words. We have here. From the word something, S T H in common, it is what is H T H? It's something. It's word.、Uh, another word for S T H is something. Okay, it's something. Okay, like that. Okay, H T H something. So we have here. Okay, so this is the what's that? What do you call this one? This is the audio script of Ella. Okay, so we have here the man is asking Ella about the different holidays. Okay, and the girl we have here the audio script. Okay, so after the audio script. Okay, I guess we are done with this. And let us review here the four words. Okay, so we have here mean the four words in the part one. We have hammer, paintbrush, scissor, and due to. Okay, since we still have four minutes, please give me a sentence. You can write it here or you can write in the inbox sentence using the four words. Okay, you can probably put in the chat. In the chat box, you know where is the chat box? Here. In the chat box, you can write here using hammer. Example. 
I I used hammer yesterday like that. Okay. Please make a sentence using the four words. I will just wait. Kindly tell me if you are done. Teacher, I'm done. Okay, where is it? I wait for a while. Okay, I used hammer to break the wall. Okay, next one. Paintbrush. Very good, Min. I'm done. I use a paintbrush to color the picture. Very good, me. Next, scissors. Teacher, I'm done. Okay, there are two scissors on the table. Okay, very good. The last one. There are two scissors in the table. Very good. Number four. Teacher, I'm done. Okay, the boss was delayed due to her due to Heavy snow. Very good, ma'am. Wow, I did not expect you're very good of this. Wow, man, good job. Yay. You're very good. So every now and then, we'll let you make sentence. Wow, great job, man. You're doing great. Okay, for now, teacher annual, say goodbye. Bye-bye, man. Bye-bye.